This is what inspired this video. Uh, over a month ago, I broke my hammer rod, which anybody who watches my channel knows I love my hammer rod. And uh, so I had to figure out how to put her back together. And that's what I did. And it's working awesome. So it works. All right. So to repair your, uh, your rod tip, you're going to need uh, some bolt cutters, some braid, appropriate size nail, and then super glue. Now, I do recommend that you use the regular super glue, the liquid super glue, and not the gel. The gel makes a big mess. It, it clumps up and makes a mess. So use the liquid stuff. I would use it, but uh, mine's all dried up, so I'll be using the gel. <laughs> but don't do that. <laughs> I say appropriate size nail because obviously you have different size rods, and it also depends on where you break your rod tip off. Like this little crappie rod is not going to use the same nail as this big old catfish rod. For this crappie rod, I'm going to use this little finished nail. For something like a catfish rod, I would use a bigger 8D nail. The easiest way to, to test is just take one of the broken ends and insert the nail into it to make sure it fits. And it should fit snugly. Alright, the next thing you're going to do is just take the nail that you're going to use, and get some bolt cutters, and just cut the head off. Just like that. And then you're going to take your super glue, put it on one side of the nail, before you glue it, make sure that the nail fits both sides of the rod. So we got our glue on. Oops, sorry, Coda. <laughs> Bump my dog. And then we're just going to put it in and let it dry. Ooh, almost glued my fingers. You want to go halfway, but I yanked it, and now it's it's glued. It ain't coming out, so. But you want to go about halfway in and just set that and let it dry. <laughs> All right, so after that dries, you want to make sure it's dry because you don't want it to move on you. You're going to take and put glue on the other half. Don't be shy. And here you want to be careful. You want to make sure that your eyes line up or you're going to have one screwed up rod. I do a better job than that when you put it together. <laughs> I didn't see that. I have this camera in my way. But you want to make sure that the rod tip is, they're touching. A good thing this is an old crappy rod that I don't use. All right, so the next thing you're going to do is take your braid and tie it about an inch above where the split is. And then you can tie any kind of knot. I just took a dab of super glue and put it on there so it holds as you're what we're going to do is we're going to wrap the rod we're going to wrap it all the way down i'm going to try to go up an inch below an inch above and an inch below all right so we have it wrapped an inch above and an inch below and you want to keep this all tight you want to keep it as tight as possible and then you tie your knot when you're done. And then here comes the, the super glue again. You take the super glue and you run it all over, up and down. Like I said, use the liquid stuff, not the gel, because the gel makes a mess. Well, you're gonna coat the whole thing with the super glue, and that's gonna be your cement. And then you just let it dry and you're good to go. I let mine set for a day because I'm paranoid. <laughs> but once it's dry, you're good. <laughs> and it's strong.